Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about residual torque. We're gonna to use this 600 Newton meter ST wrench, and we're gonna validate the torque that's left in the joint when we tighten with this power tool. So why is this important? This is an audit tool that we use in the factory to make sure that our processes are putting the right torque on the joint. So before I go any further, let's go to the whiteboard and explain in a little more detail. So this topic comes up a whole lot when I'm talking to manufacturing engineers about residual torque and specifically what it means for the bolt. So remember, this bolt has already been tightened by the manufacturing process, and we're gonna do an audit in the tightening direction, and I wanna break down what that looks like for you here. So here's on our vertical axis, we have torque and we have angle. And this bolt is already tight, so this curve is gonna be really, really steep here. We're not gonna turn very much angle. And at some point where we reach a value that's somewhat close to our installation torque, we're gonna to have a signature where we start to retighten the bolt like this. And this is actually gonna line up with the original tightening of this bolt. But we've got two important points to break down here. Right here, we have the static breakaway torque. And right here, we have the residual torque. So the important thing to differentiate here is the static torque is the amount of torque it takes to start it moving. And this is actually prone to quite a bit of fluctuation with the difference between static and dynamic friction. What we're really after here is this residual torque value. This value tells us what's left in the joint, right? Like the word residual, it's leftover torque in the joint. This is gonna be what we're gonna use to determine how good our tightening process is doing, how much torque it's actually putting in the bolt. So when we, when we have a tightening process, we can use this to measure the quality of the tightening. Now that we see how it works, let's go back to the torque tools and test it out. All right, so let's run the power tool just like it would be run at the factory assembly station. So did we get to the right torque? That's the question we're gonna answer when we do a residual torque check. We wanna make sure that we applied the correct amount of torque in the right process, and we wanna make sure that the right tool was used and it called the right program. So what we're doing here is building some confidence that our tightening process is doing what it's supposed to, because that tool only gets calibrated once a year. I can have an auditor check this bolt every single day. There we go, 489 Newton meters with a 500 Newton meter target. We're well within the normal range of the dynamic torque on this. And this really builds confidence as a manufacturing engineer that our process is capable in doing what it's supposed to. So there it is, that's residual torque. At the end of the day, we get this question a whole lot about why it's so important to make sure that we're auditing the tightening process. And really, it's about making sure those bolts stay tight. We'll see you next time.